super cold out. I mean, we're talking 20s. It may be in the 30s now. And I don't usually work out here when it's this cold. But there's just, I gotta get this thing built. But when it's cold enough that the glue doesn't come out of the bottle, that's pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> Yay. Pickup truck too. Make a smaller trailer. That'd be really cool too. It'd be a smaller trailer. Like I'd, I'd, I'd make like a regular little camper trailer or motorcycle trailer. That's the other thing that's going through my head is how to make a wood motorcycle. I'll figure that one out. I got horses. And my horse can turn into a mule too. All I have to do is make bigger ears. <laughs> I cut it out and I made the wrong cut. I walked back and I just said, made the wrong cut. I gotta cut another piece. So I got another piece of wood, drew it out. I says, okay, well now I have a template. <laughs> so we start cutting. And then dry fitting it all together because it's the first time it's ever physically been built. It's just, you just gotta dry fit it. Dry fit it and you know, clamp it all together and see how it looks and step back. But on this one, I wanted to make sure that the base, the chassis, everything glued to it I wanted to make sure that it was rock solid but it's three layers it's got to be glued together and it's all three layers are not the same the only thing that's common is the front axle and the rear axle those have to be divoted out because like a regular car you got a wheel well now, I'm not gonna drill a hole in there and make it look kind of weird I want to get as close to an actual truck so when you look at the bottom you go wow that's a truck and then you look at the front that's a truck you look at the back that's a truck it's tough stuff but how long have I been talking good year but it's surprising me with the little small little details of quarter inch here and eighth inch there and then when you, you actually get the physical pieces together and it is in your head you're like oh wow well, I didn't expect that like one thing I didn't expect <laughs> it's funny is I did the hood and at first I had like at 40 degrees and I went now it's too steep so I ended up cutting it in half 20 degrees and then I was thinking in the back of my head where the windshield hits the hood there's a weird angle right there. And I went to 20 degrees and I dry, I put it all together and looked at it and it looks like a pickup truck where the windshield and the, the slope of the, it makes that divot down. It's like, that that's, that's what you gotta have. You gotta have that. And I'm, like, I'm even thinking about putting mirrors on this thing. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to have mirrors on it. I mean, it's just a piece of wood with a dowel. I mean, it's no big deal. It's kind of like the smokestacks on the semi. And it's just like, oh yeah. So I'm thinking about that one. I got away. I'm thinking about putting mirrors on it. I just think that'd be just, it'd be the bomb. Got the exact same height as the semi when it comes to the hitch. The only difference is, is that the wheels are an eighth inch smaller. It sits body wise and it's lower than the semi. And the, the, the cab of it. I mean, if you were to compare it to like a Chevy 5500 or a Ford 450 or a Hummer H1, the bigger of the trucks, that's what it's gonna be. And whenever I've seen, peop seen people with the big trailers out here at the ranches, when they're pulling it, that's what they're pulling it with. They're not just your regular pickup truck. They're they're the big trucks, and they all have dualies. They all have double double rear wheels. So when you hear me talk about dualies, dualies means four back wheels. And a tandem axle would be you know 
two sets of four wheels in the back. That would be, you know, what what you see on the road. When you see the big semi trucks and they have eight wheels that are right underneath the hitch of the trailer, that's a dually. Now it'd be kind of interesting to do a truck that way. I could probably, yeah. People saw that, they go, hey, I've seen that on one of those car shows where they custom make a truck. I should do that. I should build that. But yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Such a lot of fun. And it's actually, it's actually assembling really well. We've been out here for maybe two and a half hours, and I've got the main chassis it's gluing together I've got the cab all cut out I got the hood cut out I'll do the front dash with the steering wheel the seat and the toolbox yes it has a toolbox I added it a toolbox I mean it's a pickup with a toolbox and a fifth wheel I mean what <laughs> out of wood all wood no nails, no screws, wood. It's exciting, it's exciting stuff. I think everybody's gonna love it. I know I love it. I really love it. 